Welcome back. Now, before we move on to our Let's Talk, let's have some tweets from YK about yeah, two. This, um, this one is from Iman Mweke. He says, PDP have nothing, APC, PDP have nothing to offer Nigerians. Would the new emir stop Boko Haram? Why are they making it personal? Mm -hmm. Then, from Titi Lokbe Oguntuga, our traditional leaders have lost their prestige. Traditional leaders should support good governance and not be partisan politicians. I agree. All right, thank you very much. Now, back to the matter. The United Nations uh, Millennium Development uh, Goals, MDGs, are eight goals that the UN uh, member states have agreed to try to achieve by the year 2015. Now, several of these related, uh, several of these relate directly to health. What progress has, you know, been made in meeting up this uh, MDGs? With me right now to discuss this is Dr. Ogunabi Peter from uh, Coordinator of the Real Visionaries Health-Based Non-Governmental Organization. Great to have you here. Thank you very much. And of course, you could uh, ask your questions and give us your views by tweeting to us at Your View TVC or simply call 07080668014. Now, getting to you, Dr. Peter, uh, what are this um, MDG health goals? Educate us on that. Okay, well, uh, just as you rightly said, Millennium Development Goals, uh, the United Nations, they decided to come together and they realized that something has to be done with the rate of mortality. By mortality, I mean death rate, mm -hmm. okay, and morbidity, that is sickness. And then they agreed that looking at the index of 1990, for example, under, under five mortality, that is, they, 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 they try to look at if we give birth to 1,000 children, for five years, how many of them usually die? And yeah. they discovered that at 1990, 230. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they felt uncomfortable. And then there was an agreement that let us set target for ourselves. And when we can meet this target that, okay, by this, by that. And in 2000, they discovered that from 230, they brought this mortality, under five mortality, for example, which is the go four, down to maybe 44, they reduced it by 44. So from 230, they got 186. Mm -hmm. that's so they say, well, that's good. And then they set target for themselves again. Now let's see what happened in 2015 with the aim of reducing under five mortality because there are so many, just as you say, health related aspects. But for the purpose of this discussion, I will major on children because it seems to be the Neglected now, which, aspect now. Yes, which brings me to my next question. What is the major cause of this under five mortality that uh, MDGs are trying to curtail? Well, you, you, for example, you won't believe that in developing countries, Nigeria, for example, out of 1,000 children, about, about 95, 100 will die before they reach age five. Why? because of common ailments such as malaria. You can't believe that at least every second a child dies of malaria. Mm. Apart from malaria, we have measles, you have respiratory infections, you have diarrhea. Things that should not HIV. But you realize that now HIV, many attention, many have been, have been put on HIV. So that has even gone down. Now you have things like malaria, things like measles, things like diarrhea killing people. And that is why they decided to spread the message down to the... Because just as we mentioned, 95 to 100. In the Western world, Europe, you talk of America, Western Pacific, you're talking about 6 to 12. Mm. So and here we're talking of 95 to 100. Die before they reach age 5. Oh, but we know so the, the fact gap of is so we? much. So what's the role of immunization in um, helping to curb all this? Beautiful, because so you know. beautiful. And that is why... There were now plans or strategies that were put in place. Community strategy, health, health, edu health education, health system, all these things were put in place. The area you have mentioned, immunization, it was discovered that, okay, let us, what are the things killing these children? Let us begin to radically immunize. And that is why immunization is one of the things you don't want to joke with. Mm -hmm. And through education, 
through education, during antenatal when you are pregnant, you begin to tell these are the things you take OPV, DPT, you take measles, you take this, you take that. The place of malaria, let us use insecticide treated nets, remove any waterlogged area, bushes around your house, make sure children under five, they at least they sleep under mosquito net. Insecticide treated one, not the fake one. The mosquito will be patching and nothing will happen. <laughs> so these are the things that were put in place. And then the attest, uh, attest, 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 I mean based therapy, that when you are ill, get to the health center. And that is why primary health care has to really be revitalized in Nigeria so that a child does not fall ill and then the mother is trying to use uh, oil or take to traditional healer or something. They can walk to the health center and freely they can get these things. So they look at that. Then they look at the area. Let us make available portable water. Mm. I was coming now and I saw people queuing up to get water. How much, if that can happen in Lagos, how much more in the villages? Mm. True. Mm. People go to the village, they get water from the stream. Upstream, they are defecating in that water. Mm. Mm. And, and then it slows bath. down. So they have their bath and then it slows down. And people just take it because it's clean. Mm. Forgetting that the water may be clean. But, but there are germs. Now, a lot of germs. you have made very, very uh, prolific, interesting points, which brings me to what is the role of the federal government here? How much has the federal government helped in this uh, MDG project, health project? Well, it's unfortunate that there are so many distractions. As just usual. Just as Mr. President has said, don't you have bombing. There are so many, even the discussion you were having before, I was just, I was hearing and I was just ignoring that. People are dying. Polytechnics are shut down. Our health system, doctors all over Nigeria went on strike and they're about to go on strike come July if their met, their needs are not met. All other, all other health workers are on strike. The government is not looking at this area. Our primary health care is not really well funded and it's in Shambu. Walk around. They are more like a glorified office. All right, please hold these your are the problems hold your and these thoughts, sir. We have a call. Good morning, you. Banky. Good morning, Sanzi. Welcome to the show. Great to have you. Thank you. Good morning. All the ladies in the house. Good morning. Good morning to Mr. Gunubi. I guess I'm right. That's your yes. guest. Yes. yes. Yeah. Please go on. Um, please, I would quickly like to dwell on the last topic before coming to this. Quickly, please. 60 seconds. You see, don't forget that even when Yaradua died, Jonathan was not given the opportunity to sit as the president. Did you get that? It took the intervention of the Save Nigeria group before Jonathan was sworn in as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Have you forgotten? Hope you've not forgotten. We haven't. Now, the same way uh, things played out then is what you're still seeing now. Politically speaking, see, for the past 15 years, you cannot rule out the fact that our democracy is still nascent and it will continue to be until we grow up. You see, these current crops of politicians, they cannot fizzle out if we are not ready. I said, I sang a song for them yesterday by Auntie Yeni's father. That was what... Yes, uh, we remember. You, you still remember? We I remember. I sang a song for them, and that is who they are. And I was you watching. See, <laughs> uh, thank you, Auntie Yeni. So let me just keep that by the side. Politically speaking, they cannot change. For now, for now. So you should know what to expect in 2015. Mr. Okunubi... Concerning yes. your MDG uh, on health matters, it's quite unfortunate. Federal government is not ready. It's unfortunate. Um, uh, we can see some little changes here and there when it comes to uh, radical immunization like the way you have analyzed. Truly speaking, even in my area, I see the way they go around telling parents to bring out their words, their children, let them immunize them on all these um, uh, diseases you have talked about. But I don't see you guys achieving this come 2015. Thank you. Good morning. God bless right, thank you. you. Thank you. Are these MDGs achievable by 2015? Because, it, you know, in 2000, 2015 seemed like a long time away. Mm -hmm. It's just six months down the line. Well, it's just unfortunate. We thought we all had hope about two, three years uh, ago that we were going to at least, if not, achieve 100%, 90%. But within that time frame, we've actually receded. In terms of even malnutrition, because we were supposed to get food for everybody, 
Can Nigeria boast of balanced diet? A Nigerian can he boast of eating balanced diet? What is a balanced diet? Please tell me because I don't think I eat a balanced diet. Protein, have lots of salad, oil, <laughs> um, fat and oil. Protein, yes. Getting at least the basic. What, what do you see now? People take rice in the morning. In the afternoon, they take garium sulfite, which is gari. In the night, they eba. take eda pande diamo eba. They take it with the soup. Thing. They but, take it with uh, soup. Okay, that okay, is okay, balanced like, diet. Now, nah, well, it depends on the. It depends not the soup you you can you don't even have money. An average Nigerian what soup is on that much. <laughs> so <laughs> they just go and get something thin tomato and they put it there yeah. and then they mix <laughs> it together. Yes, they add fried yam. So you cannot say it's with balanced. Pepper. Yes, I had fried yam with pepper and fish. Is that a balance? And you are in Lagos, and you don't even look like someone who is not taking balance diet. But let us imagine that <laughs> more than at least half of the population are in the rural areas. I agree. And yes. they do not have access to some of these things. Okay, uh, we have George. Good morning, George. Yeah, good morning. Please, well, um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. The topic before this current one uh, is the one I wish to comment on. Mm -hmm. Please, uh, let's not forget a very valid popular statement that stands. All things work together for good mm. for those who love God. Mm. I remember a situation in Oyo State when uh, Alao Akala was the governor. And he made a statement when there was um, a kind of schism between him and, and the Amir and Olubadam. Of Ibadan. He made a statement that he appointed Ulubada and that he can remove him. Mm. Let us not divorce uh, politics from a, a throne that is not hereditary. For example, the Oba of Benin. Everybody knows who is the next Oba of Benin. It's not contestable. Where it becomes contestable, where you know, kingmakers will sit down to choose who will be the one, you can't visibly rule politics out of it. So that is what is happening in Kano. Let it be. What, uh, what uh, Dr. Jonathan went through during his own ascension to the throne of presidency, mm. he has completely forgotten about it. Mm. That's just what I wanted to say. So I'm fully in support of the assertions of NIMA. What we be, we be. We should come to terms with what has to be. Thank All right. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Judge. Now, um, we've already talked about um, the role of the federal government, which you said they haven't really had so much impute. Now, whose job is it to meet this target? And at least 2015 is just around the corner. You just said, unfortunately, you don't see um, the organization realizing 100% of that. But how close are we to actualizing that goal come 2015? How close? Well, it's just unfortunate that, as I will say again, you can see even by our discussions and contributions, that people are very, very much interested in the political terrain. And you can be sure that more people are dying of malaria, diarrhea, than even the amount or the number of children that are being killed either by the insurgents or coup. But because it's a chronic and silent death, mm. you don't hear about it. Mm. The only area that is working very well is the last goal, which is the Global Partnership for Development in which NGOs are coming together. You see organizations, mosques, churches, NGOs coming together to assist the federal government towards at least realizing. You see people going to villages, getting boreholes sunk. You see people going to markets, going to school to teach the children. For example, mm -hmm. Rivishana, we were at uh, 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 one of these suburb parts. We were teaching the children how to wash their hands. Mm. You can be surprised some of them don't even know when you eat, mm. when you defecate, when I jigule, and we're teaching them. We're talking of more than 200 children. Wow. This is what you do, this is what you do. Health education, because it is believed that once you educate, you change attitude. And mm. once attitude changes, behavior will definitely be modified. All right. are so you going to in that rule? area, okay. we are doing it, and other NGOs are supporting in terms of mental health and other areas. But federal government, we believe that as much as possible, should try to leave politics and face good governance. All Is right. it the federal government's on, on duty to meet the target? Well, yes, okay. because they are, uh, as much as well, they are the one that will streamline it down Lady to the states mm. and okay. then to the local. Well, to get um, to the local well, government that, areas. That, that, that is that's much. Not the rural areas, sorry. I was, I'm worried about the rural, like you said, yes. they are really um, suffering. The local government, council, chairman, all of them are supposed to come together, get this strategy 
and then implement it mm. in their own local. Okay, countries. that is the much you can take, but I just want mm. to chip in that I think more Nigerians are concerned with politics because everything that is going on in the country is all narrowed down to politics. Doctors are on strike, it's politics. Mm. The uh, ASU, ASUP is on strike, it's all politics. So until we get our politics and our democracy rights, everything remains stagnant. When However, the decayed. What happens to the body? Well, however, thank you very much, Dr. Ogunabi, for being on the show. Um, insightful uh, comments and answers. Our we'll definitely Twitter have fan is yes, great. He's a Twitter fan. Twitter and, Twitter. And, and let me just <laughs> say, your yeah. view, you are doing great. Oh, thank you. You try to balance everything. Thank you. Yesterday, you brought in the polytechnics, and that is how it should be, so that we don't get focused and get lost. Why are there areas? All right, thank you very much, sir. And thank you, ladies, as well, for a wonderful show thank today. You. And thank you there at home for watching. Now, you can watch a repeat broadcast of Your View at at 11.30 p.m. tonight. You can also watch previous episodes on YouTube. Uh, go to YouTube forward slash TVC Entertainment and search for your view. Stop terrorism. Say no to insurgency and yes to a peaceful Nigeria. Thank you once again for watching and do have a wonderful day. Bye.